All right. We are on live. It is Entre Architect Live. Uh, thanks for uh, joining me here today at Entre Architect Live. This is a weekly show that I've been doing for the last, I think this might be the third or fourth week, I don't remember, um, here at Entre Architect Community on Facebook. And this is going to be a continuing weekly 30 minutes with me. And occasionally I'll bring in a guest, as you see here today. I've brought in a guest, a friend of mine, and a friend of yours, Jeff Eccles. Um, before we get into why Jeff's here, I want to just remind everybody that in, in the Entree Architect community, we're here as a, as a big family. We're here to support one another. We're living through a, a historic moment right now in the history of the world. Um, and that, crazy enough, is not an understatement. <laughs> And so uh, the only way we're gonna, going to get through this is to get through this together. And uh, last week, I think, I posted on the community here in Facebook. Uh, I posted a lot of things, but one specific post is, and I think it was March 30th, uh, I posted it. It was a post about how we can leverage the Entre Architect community. There's 6,000 uh, 6, 6, architects in this group, more than 6,000 architects in this group. Um, we, uh, we have an ability here, we have an opportunity here to come together and not only help one another uh, succeed here in the community as architects, but also have a, a significant impact on the world. And it's always been a mission here at Entree Architect to do that. Um, and uh, so I've taken some inspiration and some motivation from that, the responses that I received in that post. It's still there. You can go search for it. If you search, if you go down on the left um, sidebar in Facebook, there's a little search button in the group and you can search for anything. But if you search for Mark Arla Page, you'll see all the posts that I've posted. Um, you won't get the ones that Entree Architect posts unless you search for Entree Architect. The Entree Architect page posts and Mark Arla Page posts are two different things. Um, but in response to that post, I've decided to, um, I asked my friend Jeff to, that whom we've we've worked with before you know he's a he's a facilitator in the membership uh he is uh, an architect he's a marketing expert we built the entree architect build your brand workshop together we just recently launched the build your brand podcast if you haven't listened to the to the entree architect build your brand podcast you need to do that right now um we, we were into episode two right now and every episode builds upon the other. So start with one and go to two and then three is coming out. I think, is it tomorrow, Jeff? It should be tomorrow. Yeah. I think tomorrow episode three. Um, and we have a surprise coming for people who are interested in podcasts too. We're not going to talk about that right now, but there's a surprise coming for that too. Um, but just so I could stop rambling here, <laughs> I, I invited Jeff to come on this show with me today and uh because i i brought jeff onto the team officially after all these years of working together um he's now a member of the entree architect team with the specific mission to help serve you better to help serve the architect the entree architect community in the facebook group in the membership com worldwide however we can help architects succeed um that's what we're going to do so i wanted to bring jeff on here today for one, to announce that, uh, to introduce Jeff to anybody who doesn't know who Jeff is, um, and talk a little bit about what we hope to achieve here. So, Jeff, welcome to Entree Architect Live. Thanks, Mark. Well, I, you know, before why don't why don't you give a little bit of background on who you are, what you do, um, for anybody who may not know, you're very active throughout the Entree Architect community, so a lot of people know who you are. Um, but why don't you give us a little background on who you are? So, uh, I guess quick background. I trained as an architect, uh, worked in, uh, you know, like most of you, I've got a degree, I've got a couple of degrees in, in architecture and worked in firms for 23 or so years, however old that makes me. <laughs> um, and, and one of the things that I like to say, and some of you have heard me say this is that, um, thanks to other people uh, that saw talents and proficiencies in, in me uh, as a young architect, you know, out of school, I was working in Chicago. And I remember the day that someone walked up and, 
and uh, tapped me on the shoulder and they said, hey, you're, you're really good at those graphics. Why don't you go help the marketing department with this? Or, hey, you're really good. Um, uh, that, that thing that you wrote was really good. Why don't you go help the business development team with this thing that they're trying to, f- to uh, finish up by Friday. And so sometimes I'll say that my career was hijacked by others. Um, but what, w- what really happened was they opened the door to the understanding, the opportunity, the realization that there is this thing called the business of architecture. Um, and by and large, that's what a lot of us didn't get when we were in school. And so even though I worked, you know, as a, as a drafts person, when we still call them that and, um, and worked as a project architect and, and all of these things, my career always veered towards the marketing and business development side of the, uh, of the business of architecture. And so I really devoted myself to learning, uh, the art and the craft of, marketing and business development for architects, specifically paying attention to, uh, because of my own interest to storytelling and the way that we tell the story and the way that we convey the idea of value. And that's led to uh, explorations of neuroscience and of course more storytelling and, and, and really sort of leading up to the build your brand workshop that, that Mark talked about a minute ago. And, and, and then, you know, now the, uh, the build your brand podcast, where if you haven't listened to any of it yet, the, the basic premise is we take a look at, at a big brand, a world renowned brand for season one at Southwest airlines. Uh, but we wanted to pick a, a brand that most of you would look at and you'd go, that's not like architecture at all. Um, what they do is very different from what we do. Uh, they have these big budgets and they have these, these agencies and they have all of these things. We specifically chose that scenario so that there would be a disconnect that we could then start taking a look at that brand, pulling it apart, dissecting it, looking at the backstory, the origin story, the way that they pivoted, the way that they've changed things along the way and looking for specific lessons that architects could learn from that basically hoping that 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 this distance between that disconnect between would would really kind of give us the pause to step back and say hey there is something in that that we can learn as architects about how we do things and the way we tell our story and specifically about of course brand uh, which you do have whether you like it or know it or not um, and value proposition and um, and the lessons of purpose, because as, as we started to talk about brand and these world renowned brands and what brand would we choose? Um, it becomes evident pretty quickly that almost every brand that you would call the best brands in the world, almost all those companies, almost all those brands are purpose driven brands. And so when we, when we look at an idea like that, you know, how can we then learn from that and apply that to the practice of, of architecture on a small scale, whether you're a solopreneur, a, 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 a sole proprietor, or a medium-sized firm or a large firm, um, or, or a really large firm. And so that's, that's really become my passion is taking a look at um, how we can take lessons from outside and apply them to the practice, to the business of architecture. Because we, we, I said this on an interview the other day, I guess, we, we've proved over and over and over for years, decades, over a century, that as a profession, we're not necessarily really good at marketing and business development. You know, we're not really good at brand development, at selling a value proposition, and we have to change that. Um, and we, and the good news, you know, coming out of the bad news that we're facing right now is we have an incredible opportunity in front of us right now to change that. Uh, we have an incredible opportunity to change the course of the profession and how the profession is seen starting right now. And so that's, that's one of the things that Mark and I have really been talking about a lot over the past, uh, well, going, going back, but definitely over the past uh, few days and few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is hot off the presses here. Um, 
Uh, we just decided to bring Steve, uh, Jeff on uh, late last week. We've been talking about it for years. And, you know, we both feel that this is uh, a time that we need to do this. We need, because uh, right now everybody's sort of focused on this recovery and the CARES Act and everybody's sort of scrambling and sort of trying to get their studios set up at home and, and everybody's sort of still in crisis mode, but eventually this is going to sort of normalize and we're going to be looking around trying to figure out how to get to the next step uh, with survival and, and with, with, um, with building businesses again and a new way of doing it and sort of looking for solutions and looking for answers. And so uh, the best way that we're going to do that is to do that together. And so uh, both inside the Entree Architect community, which is a free forum and inside the paid membership uh, we are going to start increasing content and resources, uh, developing specific programs, specific uh, uh, ways for you to get to the next level, a, a, a roadmap to get through this mess that's heading our way um, and not waiting for it to be here before we start, <laughs> before we start addressing it. And so, uh, Jeff and I have a few ideas. Jeff, you want to talk about a little bit what we're going to do inside the community here on Facebook? Yeah, so one of the, you know, as Mark and I really started to brainstorm this, and, and a lot of this really started with him pulling together resources around the CARES Act. Um, and, and we talked about the fact, we, I mean, we were, the beginning of the conversation was really about leadership, right? And And what what we need, and, and we'll put that in the royal we, what we need from leaders, no matter what level we're talking about or what context we're talking about is, we're looking for clarity and we're looking for resources. And so I, I really thought that when Mark started to pull together the, um, the, the CARES Act information and become the resource for that as it pertains to small firm architects, I thought that was that was a really... Um, uh, a really powerful thing to do. I mean, it per, when it, I, my goal over the past, well, we're in the fourth week now, over the past three, three weeks or so has been to have as many conversations as I could possibly have inside the AEC community. And one of the things that came, has come out of those conversations has been the fact that it's, Many times, it's very hard to get, especially in times of crisis, as we know, uh, it's hard to get the information, um, get to it easily, and get to it in a way that makes sense, in a way that's clear. And so we started talking about the fact that, that in order to add value into the architect, uh, entree architect community, the first thing we had to do is provide clarity. You know, right. what is it? What are... What are, where are the different aspects of, of what we're going through that people are seeking clarity, CARES Act being one of them, and then how do we become a resource for each other, you know, for the community? And so um, we talked about the fact that um, the CARES Act information was really good and it becomes a really good source, a really good resource. And then we talked about the fact that it, the next step that we could do was to host a daily conversation. Um, and I've, I've been doing that outside of this community since March 16th. Uh, and some of you have participated in that. Um, but we're gonna start doing that today inside the Entree Architect community. Uh, we said 4 p.m., right? Yep. 4 p.m. every day, uh, right here, uh, just, like, just like we're seeing now. And it's, it's really, I'll, I'll have a theme, I'll have a topic. Um, that we can focus on, but we can also leave it a little bit open-ended if we need to. You know, if you come into the conversation and, and you need clarity somewhere else, um, then, then we're gonna be flexible enough to, to make those changes. But the idea will to be to have a half, a half hour segment every day where we're here to bring clarity, most likely focused on, on business and brand and marketing and business development topics, but in any, any topic that we really need to really need to focus on. And, and this can be, 
this can be a day by day because the world is changing in front of us day by day. So, uh, but, but the over, overarching idea is that at four o'clock every afternoon, we have a time we can come together and seek clarity, whatever that needs to mean on, on uh, that particular day. Yeah, I, I think that the last few weeks have been overwhelming and scary, and there's a lot of fear and a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. We're all feeling it. It's impossible to not feel it. Um, and when Jeff and I started talking about clarity and that word clarity, that you have a clear understanding of what's happening and what's about to happen and how to handle that, that helps make all of that manageable. It's not going to make it go away. You know, we're living in a time that that's stressful. We're living in a time that's, that's causing anxiety, but the only way to get through it is to have clarity, to understand what's happening right now in the best way we can um, and to develop some process, some way of getting uh, to the next step to get through this and to thrive because that's my goal is we're not just going to survive through this. We're going to thrive. We're going to find these new opportunities that Jeff was talking about and we're going to, to help everybody go execute on those, those opportunities out there. So we come out of this stronger and more powerful than we've ever been as architects. And so that clarity is, is where it's going to start. Yeah. Yeah, the, the brutal truth of the matter is that you really kind of have three choices right now. You can, you can sit back and you can hunker down and, and you can kind of put your head down and wait for this to pass. Um, or you can kind of approach this on a day-to-day -day basis like essentially like nothing has ever changed and, and just try to muddle through it. Or you can attack this head on. and look for places that you may need to make pivots and look for places where you can discover new opportunities. And the only way that you come out of this stronger on the other side, wherever the other side is, whatever the other side looks like, the only way that you come out stronger on the other side is to attack it head on. Uh, that doesn't mean that there's no fear involved. That doesn't mean that there's no uh, disruption or pain or any of those things, but it means that we're attacking this head on. And, and so, you know, in, in my mind, this conversation every day at four o'clock, it, it really, in a way it kind of revolves around the idea. I know many of the Entre Architect, uh, community have read or, or know of, or, uh, the one thing, uh, by Gary Keller or, or, um, or, or there's a couple of other books that are in a similar vein. And, and in my thought process, this, this conversation at four o'clock Eastern, I should say, I guess, four o'clock Eastern every afternoon is, is really kind of looking at a thing, a one thing and looking for clarity around one aspect of what it is that we're experiencing. And, and maybe, maybe it provides a mindset shift for you every day. Um, or, or any day that you decide to, to join the conversation. Also, uh, logistically, much like my thought around this Entree Architect live call, where every Monday at two, it sort of gets your week kicked off, right? So you know that I'll be here for the, for the duration, you know, until, for as long as you want me to be here at 2 p.m. Eastern time every Monday afternoon. You can count on me being here, and that will help you sort of get your morning all figured out and then come hang out with me for a half hour and then go off and, you know, execute on your week. Very similar idea, but we're going to do, we're going to do it daily with Jeff. Jeff is going to meet every 4 PM Eastern time here in the group uh, for a half hour call and to sort of anchor your day. So sort of work your work through your day, end of the day, come back here at four o'clock every day and you know, be, be, be an active participant in this conversation. This is, this is not going to be Jeff lecturing to you. This is right. a, this is a discussion. This is a way for this community to come together around a specific uh, topic at a specific time every day. So you can come, you can put it on your calendar every day at four o'clock, jump on the, jump into the group here and participate with Jeff on that call. Sometimes I'll be there. Sometimes I won't be there. Uh, it's going to be Jeff's, Jeff's um, call. Uh, I will be here every Monday at two and um, 
And in addition to what we're doing here in the community, uh, we are also sort of in development mode over in the membership to take what we have already there in the membership and sort of bring the things that are most important to the surface. So people who are in the membership can, can remember they're there because there's so much in there that it's hard to remember what's there and how we can use it. And so we're going to sort of uh, go through the content in the membership, put together a page where you can, okay, this is what we need to focus on right now. And we're going to develop new products, new programs, new resources that will be included in your membership. It's not going to be any additional paid thing. It's we're just going to uh, improve the, uh, the value of what's in the membership uh, on top of what's already there and bring clarity again, bring clarity to the membership. So when you get in there and we, you know, we know what our goal is to get through the next 12 months, 24 months, whatever we need to do to get back to normal, whatever that normal is going to be. Um, we want to give you the resources and the roadmap that you need uh, to do that. And just as a reminder, and I've posted it here in the Facebook group a bunch of times, I don't want to be a hard sell. The whole point of it is for you to, to be able to access the, the, the membership. It's free for 30 days. Um, so you can jump in there. Uh, you can, you can uh, join us at the expert training session, the live call. The next one is in uh, uh, May. So if you join now, you'll catch the May one at the, in the beginning of May. You'll have access to all the resources, all of the courses and everything else that's inside the membership free for 30 days. And like I said in the past, even if your intent is to go in there and get what you need and cancel and jump out, I don't care. That's not the point. The point is to give you the resources you need. I think once you're in there, you'll see the value of being in there and, and remain a member. Uh, but that's not the strategy. The strategy is to give you the resources you need. Yeah. yeah. You, you mentioned the word uh, roadmap earlier. And the, the way I kind of look at the resources that are in there right now, it's, it's almost like Travelocity, right? You can, you can go in there and you can search and you can pull together the things you do, you need to have an amazing trip. Um, but we, ought, we know that when we're in a hurry or we're in a crisis mode um, or something like that, we just need all the most useful things laid out in a, in a map that gets us to, you know, just like our, our GPS, right? You need to plug it in and step by step by step by step. So one of the first goals will be to, to really take all that information that's there and turn it into a roadmap to help you survive and thrive through this period that we're going through right now and come out stronger on the other side, because it, there really are going to be a couple of phases to this. Yeah. Um, there's going to be the getting through it business, but then there's going to be coming out the other side, which is um, going to be, uh, I think probably fairly long and, and arduous. So uh, taking the information that's there, building that roadmap, and then, you know, even, even coming up with some, some new exciting destinations along the way that, that help uh, specifically uh, around and, and designed for what we're facing right now. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have any suggestions, you're welcome to post them in the, um, the comments of this video right now, just post them in there. You can send either of us uh, an email. Um, my email is mark at entrearchitect.com. Um, Jeff, what's your email that people can reach out to you? You'll eventually have an Entree Architect. We just, it's so new. We haven't set that up yet. But. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeff at echoengage.com, E-C-H-O engage.com. Yeah. And if you want to sort of get a sneak preview of what Jeff is doing over, you can go check over on LinkedIn uh, and connect with him over there because he's very active over on LinkedIn. And uh, you can see some of the videos that he's been posting and some of the, the chats that he's been having. And, and so he's been actively, one of the reasons I like working with Jeff is that he is a proactive leader, uh, much in the same vein that I have. He has a mission. He wants to help the community. He's dedicated to the community. He has demonstrated that throughout many, many years. Uh, Jeff and I met, I don't know, probably... 2006, 2007, 2008, sometime. I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. the, the, the day we met. Yeah. I mean, we met online a couple of times, but we met at the, was it Denver convention? No, it was earlier than that. Maybe it was Denver. It might have been Denver. Yeah, yeah. 
I heard that voice. I'm like, oh, that's, I've heard that voice before. <laughs> <laughs> there he was. Yeah. So, so, um, so post them, post any suggestions you have for anything, anything. That was the idea of that, that post that I, that I posted on, on, uh, on March 30th is just a brainstorm. Even if it's a crazy, that's impossible idea, right? Post it in the, in the comments here, go find that other post, post it there, send it to us. Um, and in addition to, to Jeff, if we, if, if, if we can, and as we need it, um, we're going to continue building our team. You know, we need to continue to be the resource for you. And so as we need it, our team's going to continue to grow. Um, that will help us better serve you in the community here on Facebook and over in the membership. And so whatever we need to do, if we have some great ideas and we're like, Oh, we need to do that. We're going to figure out how to do that. Whether we, we, you know, uh, you know, build the team or whether we need funding, we'll go find some, whatever it needs to happen. We're going to build what we need to build to make sure that everybody comes through this. Okay. Um, and on that note, we, you know, we have a few more minutes here. I just want to extend my, um, my own, a, a few people have reached out to me recently about the pot, my podcast, Entre Architect podcast. Um, and what I've been doing the last couple of shows, I'm, I've actually moved my schedule around to push some of the more relevant, uh, um, episodes right up to the top. So this Friday is going to be a very relevant, timely episode, uh, with Shannon Lee of, um, win without pitching which is Blair N's book, Win Without Pitching. Uh, she is the director of coaching, and we're going to be talking specifically about uh, how to deal with this moment and how do we um, get through the process of feel, uh, feeling like we can't continue to uh, build our business, that we sort of feel frozen. I had a great conversation with her last week, and I pushed it right up to the top. It's got to go out now. Uh, so that will be this Friday. And then next Friday and the following Friday, we have Jane. Um, Jane Walton coming back. She's been on the show a couple of times for a two-parter about uh, working with your teams through this. And so we pushed all the relevant content right up to the top. We have a bunch of other episodes that are coming later that are not as timely. And so those which we, we are going to put on hold for a little bit and get this more important stuff out there. And, and in addition to that, I've, um, I want you to know that I am here for you. Uh, I, and one of the reasons at the end of the podcast, I've been sort of giving a little personal message because I want you to know that that podcast to me is my way of giving you some sort of anchor to your, to your week that you can listen to that and hear some, hear a familiar voice that will get you through the weekend, uh, get you through the week. You know, it gives you some, some continuity and some routine that's you've been doing for a long time. I'm going to continue doing that. And I've gotten a lot of positive feedback and uh, gratitude for what I've been doing over there. So I just wanted to, to thank you for thanking me. It means a lot to me. Um, and so, uh, so Jeff, do you have any thoughts on, uh, before we wrap up here on, on um, maybe what's going to happen later today at 4 PM Eastern time? Well, I, I mentioned earlier that, um, you know, like, like you said, this, our four o'clock Eastern time frame is really meant to help you anchor your day. And um, I talked about the idea of a mindset. You know, we may, what we talk about every day may be a little bit of a mindset shift for you. So the thing I'd like for everyone to think about before 4 p.m. Eastern, which is an hour and a half from now, um, is think about your clients and how their world has changed in the last three to four weeks, depending on where you are, may, maybe even going back four or five That is weeks. a very good, very good thing to think about. It, it's your clients are the reason that you're in business, right? Your clients are the ones that write the checks. You are depending on no, really no matter how you think about your practice, you are here to serve your clients. And so we need to really pay a lot of attention to the way that their world has changed. Yeah. And then thereby think about how we can continue to serve and, and maybe serve differently. Yeah. It's so important. I, I, I think, and just as you were saying that the last two or three weeks, we have been so self, and this is not a negative sure. thing, so self-centered. We've been so focused on survival. 
because in a time of crisis, you need to protect yourself, right? And so we've been like, how do we fix what we have? How do we make sure that what we have doesn't fall, fall apart? Um, but <laughs> even more importantly, the question that you ask, what is your clients? What are your clients going through? What is their experience? How can you serve them? Um, because that's going to result in you surviving and you right. building a better business if you know how they're doing and how how they are surviving. Yeah, yeah. If if you wanna if you wanna dissect the mind mindset shift, um, if you've heard me talk about build your brand or anything like that, you've probably heard me talk about being relevant and staying relevant. The only way for you to do that is for you to understand how your client's world has changed. Um, one of the things that I've done and over on the echo engagement side is really burn everything down to focus only, at least right now, only on helping people change their messaging to be relevant to your client's world today. Um, you know, if you're using the same words, if you're using the same messaging today that you did four weeks ago, is there a disconnect? Because everything has changed in, in yeah. four weeks. And so, um, and, and as that was coming out, I want to make sure that I'm clear, this is not a sales pitch at four o'clock, but I think this is really the most, in, one of the most important mindsets that we can have right now is having a better understanding of our clients so that we can remain relevant to them. Because if we're not relevant to them, then they're not going to call. You know, right. if we're not relevant to them, they're not going to hire us to do anything. So the best way to remain relevant to them is to continue to understand how their world is changing and, and, and their needs and their goals and all those things are changing in the face of this. So that's, that's what I'd like to think about today at four. Sounds PM. great. So, so uh, come back today at 4 PM, meet with Jeff here on Facebook in the Entree Architects community um, and put it on your calendar, put it as a, as an automated reminder. Every, every uh, weekday, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern time here in the Entree Architect Community Facebook group. Uh, join Jeff and, uh, and occasionally me, but it's, Jeff's, it's going to be Jeff's show. Um, and, uh, and I'll be back next week at 2 p.m. Eastern time next Monday. Jeff, thank you very much for not only joining me here today, um, but for your continued support at Entree Architect. You've been a facilitator in the membership for many, many years. Um, you've been a good friend. You've supported Entree Architect in everything that we've done. Um, and I just wanna, I wanna welcome you officially to the team. Thank you. And, uh, and I thank you for your leadership as an architect and a, uh, as a leader in the profession. So thank you. No, oh, thank you. I'm, I'm happy to do it. And you know, we're all, we're in this together. So uh, that, that's really the best way through this and, and out, this, uh, out the other side is to, to join together and do this. So I'm happy to be a part of it. Yep. All right. Great. So uh, we'll wrap this one up. We will um, we'll see you next Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern time for Entree Architect Live. Come back today at 4 p.m. and hang out with Jeff for a half hour and talk about uh, how your clients have their lives have shifted and, uh, and maybe you might have a mindset shift on how you can uh, make some changes right away and, uh, and continue to excel. All right, Jeff, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you all for joining me here today at Entree Architect uh, live here on Facebook and we'll see you next week. Thanks. All right. Bye everybody.